So the goal is to get this wood texture that I created. This is just a 64 by 64 sprite. Just a simple little wood thing. It doesn't look that great, but I want to put it on a 3D cube in Godot. So I'm going to start by creating a 3D scene, add child node to that spatial node, and choose Mesh Instance. Under Mesh for Mesh Instance, I'm going to create a new cube mesh. If I go under Material, hit that Empty, and choose New Spatial Material, we'll get a lot of options underneath there. You'll have to click the, the material that pops up in order to get these new options. You add the texture under Albedo, so you can choose a color or we can choose a texture. I just pulled in that wood image. I'm going to drag it to texture. So it pulls in, but there's a lot of reasons that this doesn't look very good. One, it's kind of applied across the cube as if it's a, kind of a segmented image instead of what we want is the image to be on every face. Uh, primarily, you could treat this as a two by three grid and then just you know adjust for the cube in your image. But for me, I want to apply this image to every face as if it's like a crate or a box or something. So in order to do that, that's actually outlined in the documentation for cube mesh. So if we go in here, the cube's UV layout is arranged in a 3 by 2 layout that allows texturing each face individually. To apply the same texture on all faces, change the material's UV property to 3, 2, 1. So back in here, we come down to UV, and under UV1, I'm going to go 3, 2, and then 1. So now we have that wood texture on every face. But it's still a little blurry. It's got this weird blurring effect on here. So if I go to wood, the image itself, come up to the import tab, we have to go to preset and click 2D pixel, and then re-import. So now it's a lot cleaner. It actually looks like that pixel art that we created, but it's only on one face. So the way that I found to fix that is to change repeat to enabled, and then re-import one more time. And now we have pixel art on every face of the cube. So that's really all you need to know about getting your 2D pixel art textures onto a 3D cube. There's probably a better way to do this, but honestly, I don't know what it is right now. So this is just the method that I've been using. I know this was a short video, but I hope it was helpful. If you liked it or learned something new, remember to hit the like and subscribe button. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.